Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter nine, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with, um, we're gonna finish out number one really fast just because they didn't finish out those blocks, so we're gonna do that, okay? So, all we're doing is multiplying the top number by three, okay? Luckily, it gives you that ratio right there, okay? So, five times three is 15, 10 times three is 30, and 15 times 3 is 45, which is why they filled in 45 right there, okay? We're going to do the same thing right here, okay? It actually tells you that whatever the top number is, you're going to multiply it by 35 because it's 1 and 35. So 2 times 35 is 70. Let's do 35 times 3, 35 times 4, and then it skips to 12. Okay, don't miss that. Okay, so we're going to finish out the chart. Okay, so 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10, so 105. All right, 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 more is 40, or is 14, sorry, 140. All right, two times five is 10, carry the one. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. Now I need to do tick, tack, toe, and one times 35 is 35. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and add them up. Zero, 12, carry the one and four. So 400, oh, I didn't do five, huh? 420, give me just a second and we'll do five right now. Oops, goodness. Oh, goodness, I can't write today. Okay. 35 times 5. All right, y'all. Okay. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry that to 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 is 17. So, 1, 75. Okay. So, now, we're going to, our rule would be to multiply the number of months. by 35, okay? Now, it's asking for that last number there. So, it's talking about money, so $420, okay? Not so bad, okay? Again, this one is giving you one times six. So your rule is gonna be to multiply the number of stacks by six and then find that Last number there. You guys do that one. You guys can totally do that. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. And we're going to go down to the final review. Okay. This tell you scores for collection of stickers equally in seven sticker albums. She has 567 stickers. How many stickers are in these journal albums? So, 567. We're going to divide that by seven. So, Seven's not going to go into five, placeholder. Seven will go into 56, eight times. Eight times seven is 56. The track is zero. And seven is, or zero is smaller than seven, so we can bring down our other seven. So seven goes into seven, one time. One times seven is seven, so track is zero. Don't forget to show your work. And we're going to put 81 stickers. Done. Okay. All right, now it says Ms. Angelino made two pans of lasagna and cut each pan into 12. Her family ate one and one twelfth pan of lasagna for dinner. How many pans of lasagna were left? Okay, so she made two pans and cut each one into 12. Okay, so there's 12 for one and 12 for another. Well, two times 12 is 24. So 24. Now, they ate a whole one. So we're going to take away 12 because that was 12 pieces, okay? So we're back to 12. Then they ate another one. 11. So there's 11 left. There's 11, and in one pan, there's 12. And that's in a pan. 
So yes, you absolutely can turn that into a fraction, subtract that one. It's you just don't have to. Okay. So okay. What is the next number in this pattern? Well, in order to find that, we need to subtract to find the difference so that we know what to add. You see the numbers are going up, so we're adding. So whatever it is, we're adding. Okay. So I'm going to take that 0.72 and subtract the 0.66. Um, so 0 0.72 subtract 0 0.66. All right, let's do it. All right. So two cannot take away six. Well, first I need to drop that decimal, Agnes Leah. Okay, two can't take away six. So I'm going to borrow one. Okay. So I'm going to make that a 12. Now 12 minus six is six, and six minus six is zero. I need to put that zero because it's after the decimal. Okay. That's still a zero. So whatever the rule is, is add 0 0.06. So I'm going to take that 0 0.72 now. And I'm going to add that 0 0.06. Okay. So drop my decimal. 2 plus 6 is 8. 7 plus 0 is 7. And 0. So 0 0.78. Okay. All right. How do you write 100 to a power of 10? Oh, y'all are going to love this. Okay, ready? 10. And my exponent is equal to the number of zeros I have in my original number. I have two zeros in 100. Boom. That's it. All done, guys. Okay. Okay, thanks for hanging out, guys, for 9.6. Come on back for 9.7. See you soon.